Welcome to Dal's Weekly Digest. Dal Bartling here, your Chief Storytelling Officer. You know folks, November is a real special month to me. What do we have? Veterans Day, and I can recall the Veteran Day parades. And Thanksgiving, of course. And on Thanksgiving, there is a certain event that you see on TV. I maybe have uh, related to you that I lived in a small little northeastern town in Nebraska called Macy, Nebraska. And so on Thanksgiving Day, what is there? The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And so we would tell relatives, well, we're going to go to Macy. We're going to Macy to the, the, to the parade. So some of the recollections th that I have there. So the theme that I'd like to use is uh, Thanksgiving, thanks thinking, and thanks living. Let's start with thanks thinking. Think of some special foods maybe that was made over Thanksgiving. Some of my recollections, folks, would be cranberry relish, where mom would take actual cranberries, make a relish with it, and she'd put some orange zest in it. And then she'd blend that together, and then she'd put a little Cool Whip, and then get that good and cold. Oh, that was, that was good. Uh, another one that I remember is an acorn squash. She'd split that, and so you got that, she'd hollow out that inside of the seeds. And then she would put some brown sugar and real butter, it had to be real butter. And then she would go ahead and bake that. And maybe the last, I would say, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, she would then put some black walnuts. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to get black walnuts. But if you've never tasted black walnut, it tastes to me nothing like the English walnut. And it's a lot smaller. But boy, it is, uh, it's delicious. So you got that acorn squash that's been baked in that brown sugar, and then you put those walnuts with it. It's very, very uh, delicious. Those are some uh, thanks thinkings that I'm, I'm thinking about. Thanksgiving. Thanks thinking and thanks living. What's the Bible say about that? Well, let's do it in maybe this, this context itself. Of uh, that gratitude, praise, and harvest. So, gratitude. I want to look at 1 Chronicles 16.34. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. <clears throat> that takes us on our list, folks, of the next category. So I said, first one, gratitude. The next one, praise. So this will be praise. What does the Bible say about that then? Let's look at Psalm 56, 4. In God, whose word I praise. In God, I trust. Sounds like something on a coin, doesn't it? In God, I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? In God, I trust. Finally, it takes us to then the category of harvest. New Testament Galatians 6 9 let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up Galatians 6 9 so there's a little light on what the Bible says about Thanksgiving itself as we sit down at our Thanksgiving dinner or think of the past or the present one coming. You know, there were some special dishes because of a special need. That need was a special health need. You see, sometimes those family members or those guests were diabetics. And so special dishes had to be made for them. You know, folks, we have a premier carrier that can help you with that clientele. Those that are diabetics. It's John Hancock and it's specifically their Aspire with Vitality Life Insurance Plan. You know November is National Diabetic Month. You know how many people in the United States have diabetes? John Hancock knows of this group of clientele, 30 million, that they are very much putting their marketing efforts into offering life insurance products to that clientele. Something to what? Thanks thinking. Something to think about. That they can buy life insurance. 
They may get that tunnel vision thinking, oh, I've, I'm a diabetic, I can't get life insurance. Not the case, folks. You're going to help them solve that problem to cover that risk, to move on to what thanks living. And then they'll pass on a big thanks to you. There are over 30 million people living with diabetes. Until now, many of them worried that they couldn't get the life insurance protection they needed. Even if they were able to get coverage, they may have been paying too much. And they probably didn't have access to the personalized tools and support they needed, nor were they getting rewarded for proactively managing their diabetes every day. That is, until now. Because now there's John Hancock Aspire, the first life insurance designed for people living with diabetes. Now there's a way to save up to 25% off your premium. And it's easy to qualify for coverage. Because at John Hancock, the vast majority of applicants with diabetes are approved. For qualified members with type 2 diabetes, now there's access to Onduo, a virtual care program with personalized tools and support that transform day-to-day -day diabetes management. Plus, Aspire comes with John Hancock Vitality, a groundbreaking program that offers rewards for the things you do to live a longer, healthier life. Now there's a whole new way of looking at life with diabetes. Now there's John Hancock Aspire, the first life insurance designed for people living with diabetes. What did you think of that video, folks? It wasn't long, but it brings up some of the key points, I think. And again, this is just a little tip of the iceberg of some of the marketing things available that John Hancock has put together. I would like to share this with you, folks. It's an email, and I've sent this email out for the last 13 years. It's entitled... Happy Thanks Living. Two U.S. readers preparing for this month's holiday. Happy Thanks Living. To my international readers in Central America, particularly Panama where my family is, and South America. While you're not celebrating Thanksgiving holiday, I think being a giving and thankful person is a key to living a fulfilling and joyful life. So here are a few thoughts I have on giving that I want to share with you. Giving of yourself, your time, your money, your energy is something that takes us from simply being a successful person to being a person who leads a successful life. Giving is what makes us fully human. It is the essence of what we are. People who are here on earth together. Not simply people who hope to get to the top. Yes, pursue your life and your success with wild abandonment. Be responsible for yourself and take ownership of your life. Realizing that you cannot be responsible for others, but also allow yourself to be that giving person. Giving is also what allows us to accomplish things way beyond ourselves and is part of what living our dreams is all about. Living is giving your best self away. Giving and living is helping someone every day. It's respect for all nations, color and creeds. It's sharing and caring for your neighbor's needs. You know, one of God's greatest laws you can live and believe is the more that you give the more that you will receive folks God's plan for you is indeed great and I hope that each and every one of you will have a blessed Thanksgiving and blessed are those who ease the pain of misfortune for they should be called insurance agents take care everyone